been a lot of talk about shortages uh, in uh, the automotive industry um, <coughs> recently, uh, in particular linked to the semiconductor shortages. Um, and uh, I don't know if it's well known, so I just wanted to share it that in fact uh, Toyota uh, had, had in fact, uh, going back to their experience <coughs> in Fukushima, had in fact stored fairly large quantities of certain critical components, um, more than their competitors and in fact had better buffers to deal with uh, the problems of the supplies in the beginning of the pandemic than uh, their, their competitors, okay? Um, but we'll, and we'll probably um, come back to that uh, sort of question. And in fact, I'll, I'll pop in the question that comes from Sandesh. Those buffer stocks of semiconductors, were they local in the factories or were they central? Uh, how, how, where were they located, those buffer stocks of semiconductors? No, the first stock of semiconductor are uh, located uh, where they are produced, mainly. Yeah, so they're, they're in the, at the suppliers' yes. uh, factories. So or cross-dock, within Toyota cross-dock. Or cross-dock, okay. So, um, one point we'd just like to, to, to underline uh, is uh, that, of course, to be able to do a lot of this, the, one of the, the unfortunate uh, necessary conditions is that you have to be pretty good yourself, right? Because to be able to impose uh, better performance on the supplier, then your, your, your quality has to be good uh, before asking for excellent quality from your, your, your suppliers, of course, otherwise you won't be credible. Okay, um, We haven't discussed that, but it's obviously a, a, a necessary condition right, for you to be able to have a, 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 to be listened to, to have leverage on your, your, your suppliers, so uh, you're going to have to do some work uh, probably on uh, your, you know, your own processes and, and results. Okay. And of course, as I said in the introduction, uh, I think the question must be uh, with regard to this subject. Um, you know, Toyota's done it, did it, always did it, started in Japan doing it. And here you have an, exp uh, an example in, in France over the past 20 years that uh, they had just explained. There was uh, no major innovation with regards to the basic ideas that uh, Toyota had imagined on this subject uh, many, many decades ago now. Um, and uh, it is so rarely copied, so I hope in the discussion we're about to have uh, we can come back to that. I mean, it works, they get cheaper, better parts, right? Um, so why doesn't everybody do it rather than changing suppliers all the time uh, and ending up with, in fact, more expensive parts, okay? That's the absurdity of it all, okay? Um, if you want to understand this and, and other subjects, uh, please consider the uh, training session that we give on on, uh, on Lean. Uh, <coughs> and then myself, the same the same team. Um, the next session, and it's called Good Lean, Bad Lean. The idea being that uh, Renal presents the the Toyota way, uh, what he knows very well about uh, the Toyota way. His uh, twenty plus years experience that uh, he shared a small part of today. And I comment, that's the good lean, right? And then I comment on the bad lean, which is all the mistakes I see people doing when they try and, and copy Toyota. So if you're interested in learning more yourself or your colleagues, uh, please know that uh, we regularly uh, give this training session. The next one is in uh, three weeks' time, from the 21st to the 24th of September. Uh, it's two hours a day on four consecutive days, and it's set up so it's in the evenings in, uh, in Europe, uh, the mornings in America. So, so, uh, thank you very much, and we'll now take questions. Uh, there's been some that I've answered as they came through. I'll uh, see what we've got here. Um, let me see, I'm just picking up the questions. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, let's... Uh, start with one which I knew was going to come up. Uh, as you no doubt know, uh, two years ago, what, two weeks ago, announced that worldwide uh, they were reducing production by 40% uh, because of uh, sem 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 semiconductor shortages. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, well, would you like to comment on that? I can, I can comment also. Ah. I think globally, we, we, within Toyota, we have learned a lot uh, from, uh, I'll say, one big crisis we had in 2011 with the tsunami and, uh, and we started uh, to rethink uh, 
our uh, supply chain and for stra some strategic uh, uh, component like semiconductors, we started to have some uh, say cross stock, uh, stock uh, kind of a buffer to absorb some some prices. But uh, we 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 can't uh, absorb uh, uh, such volume of uh, say. 10-20% of uh, production, even, even more. That, that means uh, at the end of the day, sometimes we have also to, uh, to, to stop our production because uh, we, okay, we, it's difficult to, uh, say, to, to, to overcome uh, such a level of uh, crisis. And, um, but I think uh, uh, if we have a look on the there is a, before the merchant bond, I think uh, Toyota plants were uh, suffering uh, uh, less than the other uh, car manufacturers about uh, the semiconductors uh, crisis. Okay, now okay, we, we, we had also to, uh, to stop our uh, activities, unfortunately. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to catch up with the questions. Uh, they're pouring in, I've got uh, yeah. 11 of them. Uh, when uh, you were presenting, in fact, I think the sentence comes from me. Uh, to you to ha uh, to you the suppliers have more to fear of operations than uh, they have of purchasing department yeah. uh, the word fear uh, shocked some because uh, well, do you think the word fear uh, is, is the right one with regards to the, uh, the view that they have of uh, a Toyota business but what, 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 honestly, what, what, what does that mean? Means uh, effectively, uh, uh, because plant we are directly in charge, directly in charge of uh, quality and delivery and to secure, uh, we will be able to uh, to deliver, uh, I would say, uh, cars to uh, to final customer. Means uh, one uh, uh, supplier has a repetitive uh, uh, crisis without any, uh, I would say, sign. Uh, given by uh, Toyota uh, supplier executive, they want to avoid, they want to uh, even, they, they, they don't pull the alarm to say, hey, Mr. Toyota, I need some support. At the end of the day, we say, uh, this supplier, we are, uh, we, we, we don't want to, 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 to work a, a, a anymore with, uh, but, but, but this kind of decision is not, uh, I would say, a short term decision again, huh, because uh, we, we always uh, are in the, I would say, in the approach to, uh, uh, to work, uh, to build partnership with suppliers, but uh, sometimes at the end of the day, we have to admit uh, some suppliers, they, 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 they don't do any uh, effort, and uh, okay, because uh, we want to continue to develop our activity, we want also uh, to continue to, um, I would say, to, um, to uh, uh, secure activities all all other, all other uh, suppliers, huh? because if we are developing our activities, it means other suppliers, good suppliers, will also have opportunities to develop their activities, and that is, that is also a part of partnership uh, with our supplier. Means if a bad supplier wants to stay a bad supplier, okay, uh, stay a bad supplier, but don't work anymore with uh, Toyota, because we, we want to develop uh, ourselves, but also other suppliers. That, that is our... Uh, we are maybe fear it's a, a strong term, but sometimes if we have to, uh, we, we have also to, to, to take some strong decision if, uh, if needed. Okay. Um, again, I'm catching up with the, the, the numerous questions. Mm -hmm. um, one of them from Nodim is What's the routine to train your suppliers on your squam and stun? Who, to who do you train? When do you train them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but globally, for. Uh, Squam and Sdam, we have uh, several uh, training sessions, means uh, at each step of the project. And we have uh, globally uh, one, two, three, four main steps of the project. Each time we have a training uh, session, means we are inviting suppliers group by group huh, uh, to, uh, to train them on the different uh, say, chapter of the uh, supplier quality assurance manual, supplier delivery. And we are doing that. Uh, by, at least uh, four times during the, the, the project. And that is an individual training. <coughs> and th that is uh, an official uh, training session. And of course, at each visit we are doing during the project phase at the supplier side, we, 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 it's also opportunities to, to uh, say to continue this training uh, on the, 
and notably to, to shake your OBEA at the supplier side, it's uh, I would say, uh, uh, online with our expectation. Okay. Um, when you talk about your quality specialists, are some of them dedicated to projects or not? Uh, no, means uh, uh, our specialists, they are of course starting by project and after they are moving in mass production and uh, back to project and so on. Because uh, for, for us it's very important uh, that our specialists have also a good understanding of uh, mass production and are able to manage uh, mass production also as, as uh, they are managing project. And, and, and that is not only uh, so easy because sometimes, uh, by, to be very honest with you, uh, so, uh, some specialists are more interesting to, uh, to, to, to do only uh, project and not uh, mass production uh, uh, activities, but uh, for us, uh, that it's a kind of uh, mandatory. Uh. Can I just add to that some things that I, I learned from some several discussions with, uh, with Renal? Mm. I, I've asked a lot of questions to him about the, the first one, two, three years of their journey because that's where I, I'm assuming most of you are, you know, it's where, where, where do I start? I've got, you know, the quality is not good and so forth. And so um, I asked him, what, you know, when they started right in the beginning, they just, they weren't even producing cars yet. They said, you know, okay, no, we're Toyota, um, would you have to be a supplier? What sort of things did they look for when they did their first audits right back in the early days? Okay, and so, okay, they looked at the quality and the scrap and so forth. And they looked at how good the potential supplier was at developing new products. And I thought, this is strange. Uh, and, and yet it, it's, it's obvious in, in many ways. It, they were preparing to, to, to have somebody who would flourish in the future, right? And those were people who were better than others at organizing the development of new products, right? And so if they saw a good, robust process of product development, they were reassured that these people were not scrambling around trying to deal with the effects of scrap problems or whatever, but they were building a future and developing uh, professionally and rigorously uh, their new products, right? So when they started looking around to see who could become their suppliers, one of the positive points that I, they identified with a, 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 a candidate was, okay, these guys are pretty good at how they rigorously they develop new, new, new products, therefore project management, okay? And so... It's true that they uh, often try and judge the, 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 the robustness and the long-term view of uh, a potential partner in this practical way, which is you know, how good they are at project management, which I found a, a, a very interesting uh, way of trying to, 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 to see if the people were just living day-to-day -day or whether they were building a future. Okay. Um, looking for the next question. Uh, uh, Question from Philippe Tortel, does TMMF encourage suppliers to exchange directly their best practices or does TMMF remain the intermediary, the, the single point of contact? Uh, no, 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 we, we, we have a, a special organization we call a team, means uh, it's a group of suppliers and they, they, they are working together and if they need some support from uh, TMMF or uh, some uh, SPM in supplier management uh, uh, branch of, uh, of um, purchasing, actually they can, but uh, suppliers, they, 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 they can work together through this, through this organization. Okay. Uh, what does crosstalk mean in your language? Question from uh, Michael. Uh, crosstalk uh, means it's a... Uh, 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 a storage of uh, parts we, means uh, we are we 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 are um, say collecting parts from different routes and uh, a cross dock is uh, 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 a storage of parts where we are uh, combining uh, several uh, say uh, picking uh, picking activities uh, to build uh, another delivery to send directly to the to, to the plant means it's a kind of uh, intermediate uh, collection of uh, parts between supplier and the plant. That is to, to secure, I'll say, the good level of, uh, uh, of our delivery and... Uh okay, there's a linked question here from Dominique Yagapen. Yeah. Is there any risks that these suppliers share the strategy and best practices with up to four other car manufacturers and therefore you make them sign a confidentiality agreement? No, 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 because by... Uh, 
I think ob obviously uh, other car manufacturers can can see, uh, for example, how uh, supplier apply the Toyota production uh, system. But now I think there are uh, uh, thousands of books uh, about uh, Toyota production system, and honestly, uh, there is very few uh, car other car manufacturers uh, <laughs> who apply this uh, Toyota production system. Uh, uh, it, Within the organization, that means honestly for Toyota there is no risk for for for, for this point. Of view. No, we have no fear for that. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, if we, if we are both laughing on hearing this. Yeah. Uh, there is no longer any kind of trade secret about what Toyota no, does, why not? and sorry. Toyota doesn't need it because nobody seems to be listening. Yeah, yeah. Uh, exactly. So you know the, the course that I just mentioned uh, will for, for uh, eight hours. Len Han will explain exactly what Toyota does. There's no secret to it. It just so happens nobody seems to be listening, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the, the other car manufacturers are playing other games, uh, and so you know, how do you decide who's, who's got it right? Um, another question from Dominique. Uh, as Denso, uh, Toyota, Boshoku are internal suppliers of Toyota, are they treated with the same level, in the same way as other suppliers? Exactly. And at and, the uh, beginning of uh, TMMF, TMUK, what was a, a, a plant in, in UK, was a supplier for uh, Circle G parts, means uh, stamping parts, and uh, we had exactly uh, the same uh, the same uh, approach with TMUK or Denso and so on. There is uh, no difference between, uh, uh, I would say, um, any 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 supplier means, uh, within within Toyota family or uh, out of the Toyota family. Okay. I, I, even and sometimes very, very uh, honestly, not so easy. Even with the Japanese supplier, means uh, parts coming directly from Japan, so same condition. Okay. Um, the 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 normal one hour has uh, elapsed. Okay. I am going to because there's several good questions still uh, out there. Uh, we're going to um, continue uh, answering the different questions that are here. Okay. Uh, but for those who uh, only created a one-hour slot in their schedule. Uh, thank you very much for your participation and uh, hope to see you again somewhere, someplace. Thank you. Uh, the next question I'll take is from Rosie Bridges. Mm -hmm. uh, my background is Rolls-Royce procurement, where the philosophy is very similar. I'm now working as a consultant supporting manufacturing SMEs. However, the lack of brand and spend volume makes it very difficult to implement similar approaches. Do you have any advice here? I mean, if I if you're not Toyota, how do you do this? The reputation and the size. Yes, and uh, and the same But honestly, beginning beginning of uh, TMMF, uh, we we were representing uh, a very uh, low volume for uh, uh, big supplier. Or, uh, okay, I, I, I will just mention Valeo or, or Floresia. But I, I think we 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 have to convince them. Say through our approach, through our the, the sharing of our methodology, they can get benefit because they can see effectively uh, improvement of their performance in terms of cost, in terms of quality, in terms of uh, delivery, uh, and we are supporting them by uh, by allocating uh, resources uh, to uh, to uh, to train them and to, uh, and to and to grow their their performance. And, and it, to be very honest with, with you. Uh, 100% of the suppliers, they didn't uh, open the door and say, please come, come, come. Some, we, we were knocking on the door during uh, several uh, years. Uh, I have uh, one in my mind, I, I, I will not mention the, uh, the name, but uh, I think more than, uh, I would say, be honestly, seven years before we can achieve some, I uh, say, uh, good partnership and uh, continuous improvement activities uh, with uh, with these uh, suppliers. I mean, it's not an easy road for sure, but if you are convinced by yourself and uh, uh, after, by, okay, it's a day, day after day uh, to uh, to repeat, to repeat and to repeat, uh, as we are doing internally, uh, uh, say, uh, we have mostly uh, uh, regularly uh, to, to, uh, to do uh, the same thing several times, uh, but it's uh, Say ongoing activities. Um, yeah, the, the, we mean we we're, we're confronted with this in uh, you know if you're not Toyota, how do you do this uh, thing? Quite quite often, uh, the, the, the the remarks made uh, uh, all stand. That's to say, you need to uh, 
have uh, some good levels of internal performance, right, before you can uh, mm. dare uh, ask for exceptional performance from your suppliers. Uh, so you have to be careful that, you know, you're not, you're legitimate when you go and see these people saying, you know, I want this sort of thing. Uh, did, Renan didn't mention the sort of ridiculous uh, numbers he gets, but we're, we're talking about basically uh, better than 10 ppm mm -hmm. uh, throughout the 200 suppliers supplying uh, Toyota over the past 10 years, less than 10 ppm, and basically no overdue deliveries. Uh, the, 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 it's uh, quite exceptional, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's from you know, normal non-Toyota uh, organizations. Um, so that's been done. Uh, so you have to get good at it internally, um, and the um, what what needs to be done is to make sure that you uh, convince your the partner with whom you're trying to with the supplier with whom you're trying to partner uh, that it's going to be done in a win-win fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, that's to say that, uh, and this skips back to a question by Steve Hol Holcomb. You know, how do you make sure that this thing you're doing is also something that creates a flourishing, profitable? Uh, suppliers, right? And that's a specific question from Steve. I don't know what how you want to if you want to address it. Uh, uh, his question is: I, I, I quote, "I am particularly interested in how you ensure your suppliers financially flourish." But for, for, firstly, uh, as already uh, mentioned, we are not putting uh, pressure on the supplier to to to, to achieve cost reduction by just requesting cost reduction. We, what we want to share effectively, and that it's a, a say, role of uh, purchasing, and they are able by themselves to do some continuous improvement activities, which will allow them to, of course, to, uh, to, to, to propose some, some cost reduction. But again, that it's an open discussion, and we, and we are supporting them by uh, dispatching some specialists uh, uh, where they want to, uh, to uh, improve uh, any activities, okay, we have say uh, certain uh, uh, level of expertise, we can dispatch and we can support uh, them. Okay, uh, another question from Jose Siman, uh, what about line production stops or stoppages uh, uh, that, um, created by a, a late delivery? Um, Maybe you could, <laughs> I know what the answer is, but maybe you could say to what extent this, this, this problem disappeared, as to say how you then develop direct delivery? Yes, 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 by the way, at the beginning, uh, we were, okay, we were working with our supplier, but some supplier, we had some, I would say, question about uh, their uh, performance in terms of delivery, that means we had, for some supplier, some, what we call a PC store, means internal, uh, buffer to, to be able to absorb some uh, some poor uh, performance in terms of delivery or other uh, quality but uh, uh, after uh, several years and uh, achieving uh, say uh, high level uh, good level in terms of uh, ppm and, uh, and and dpm we were able to uh, to delete this uh, pc store and uh, to start with this supplier uh, direct delivery uh, on the uh, line side assembly line side Okay, I, I repeat because this just doesn't sound crazy. In France, right now, and for the past, when did you stop the PC store? Five years ago? Uh, for, no, no, it was in uh, 2012. Okay, in 2012, mm. they got rid of uh, um, most of their suppliers uh, that go directly into the car. They got rid of the any kind of buffer or store between the supplier and the production line, right? The products which just went straight to the production line, no buffer of any sort anywhere, okay? And uh, they don't get any late deliveries anymore either, right? So there's no longer any buffer and nobody delivers late anymore. That's in France right now since 2012 with uh, the suppliers that you, you, you know, I mean, and I, I'm surprised that the question hasn't come up. Obviously for that kind of strange performance to, to occur, that means that many suppliers are treating Toyota better than their other clients, right? Uh, because uh, that, that kind of exceptional uh, quality and uh, reliability and delivery dates uh, is, is absolutely unique, but that's what they're doing at the moment. I repeat, this factory in the north of France gets direct deliveries of its 200 suppliers uh, and it goes straight to the assembly line. There is, there's not even a, a one hour buffer. Uh, it's, it's just uh, sometimes it's a question of a few cars, right? A few minutes. 
Il y a between the, the P lane and the yeah. assembly lane. Yes, absolutely. Sorti minute. Right. Okay. Um, so that was that question. I'm just checking. Um, yeah, I don't know if. Uh, here's a new message. Uh, okay, so <laughs> bye bye and a thank you and congratulations. Um, okay, let me just see. Uh, uh, there's, a, there's a question from Steve. Hello, Steve. Steve Holcomb. Uh, about, uh, I will find it and read it. Uh, Steve Holcomb. Uh, the Toyota approach sounds similar to project alliancing or IPD, integrated project delivery, as described by Ian Hettingstall, uh, critical chain uh, consultant and instructor that I, that I know. So, unfortunately, Steve, I know that uh, Ian was planning to, he was registered, he was planning to participate, but unless I'm mistaken, he's not, he didn't turn up, which is a pity because we could have had an interesting discussion on that. Uh, I, I understand your question, uh, Steve. I hope we'll get the opportunity to, to discuss it with, with you and with Ian because I, I understand what you mean. It's you know, how do you build a win-win uh, relationship in a, in a network of, of, of actors? And this is the uh, very much uh, the, the Toyota variant, uh, as far as I'm concerned. And uh, the, the idea of project alliancing, by the way, today we focused mostly on uh, production. But uh, what was fascinating when you get to know what uh, they, they've done is you understand that there's very much project alliancing with regards to developing a new product. Okay, uh, the development of a new version of a car. They just launched the Yaris, the fourth version of Yaris. Right, it's a very much a collective win-win effort of themselves and all their suppliers. And for five years, they've been working hard uh, collectively with their suppliers at making the new car. Uh, obviously uh, reliable and, and, and so forth um, and, and cheap and so forth so uh, they're, they're, they're in their own way they're, they're already uh, doing some project alliancing the, the, the Toyota way okay clearly and I think that's that's it that's from everybody so thank you thank you very much uh, and thank you for your thank yous uh, and um, Yes, unbelievable after working with a French automaker uh, you know, in, in procurement. I understand how amazing this performance uh, is and so forth. So. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I mean, you know, that is very, very modest, but a lot of what they do is just, it sounds unbelievable, right? I repeat, that basically, they, they don't have any quality problems anymore, nothing's delivered late, and it's all cheap. Uh, and they make a cheap mm. little car mm. uh, with low margins and they make money and uh, it's so popular that it's won the, you forgot to mention it, won the Car of the Year Award uh, in uh, uh, 2021 uh, a few months ago. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. You yes. forgot to mention it, yes, Car yeah, of the Year. I, I just mentioned in 1999. But yeah, yes, you won it again in 2021. So it's the Car of the Year yeah. uh, coming out of this factory. Uh, it's making money. It's the demand is is uh, is huge. That's why they're they're they're, they're ramping up and ramping up. Mm. Uh, and so it's an amazing success story. And you know it's happening here, or at least here where I am uh, here in France, uh, with you know normal companies. This isn't you know the, the Toyota. What they do in their factories should be amazing. That's one level of surprise and uh, impressive. But they manage to to distribute or to 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 infect. Uh, their supplier uh, network with this kind of excellence and get these strange results and I find that also fascinating and, and, and should inspire hope in, in many of you because it shows you know, that you can get these strange performances not only within Toyota since they're, they're getting it out of their own suppliers whatever they are okay so thank you thank you very much thank you uh, for those that for themselves or anybody else in their organization who wants to learn more in this way about uh, the, the Toyota way the good lean uh, then uh, please uh, consider joining the, the uh, training session uh, in three weeks' time on the subject good lean and bad lean. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.